Okay, the next step after you've got the cross and the corners like this, the next step is to solve the first two layers. After you've got the cross and the corners, the next step is the first two layers. You've got the one side, the first layer, and then the second layer all the way around. You've got a big block of the same color. And you are almost done with solving the Rubik's Cube. So, on doing this, a warning you need to know notation to go on to this next step because if not, you will have no idea what I'm talking about. So, there are two algorithms that you need to solve the Rubik's Cube, or to solve, excuse me, to solve first two layers. And I will show you how to use each. Okay, what you want to do is you want to fill in these slots here, the empty slot, with the correct piece. So the correct piece here would be green and orange. Green and orange, right here. Green on this side, orange on this side. So they match. Now, to do that, we find the color on top here, green and orange. Then we hold the top, turn the bottom to, until they match. Now, we need to find out whether it goes left, excuse me, left, or right. It needs to go right. So we do this algorithm. U, R, U, RI, UI, FI, UI, F. And that will place that one there and keep your bottom the same. Now, the next one is, okay, that one's the same. This one's good. Okay. The next one is if the piece needs to move left. This one needs to move left. So, with with the piece that you need to move left on the right side here, here needs to move here. So put that side on the right. And then do UI, FI, UI, F, U, R, U, R, I. And that will fill in that. Now, the next one, there is another case, but you don't need to know an algorithm for it. The next case is if you've got it placed in the right spot, but it's backwards. What you need to do is you need to do either algorithm, U R U R I U I F I U I F, or U I F I U I F U R U R I. One of the two that I did before, moving to the right or the left, to place any piece here. And what you're doing, sorry, U R U R I U I F I U I F. What you're doing is you're placing the piece that was here into here. But what you're really doing, what you really want to do, is you're moving the piece that was there out. So you can now do the same one that you did before. U R U R I U I F I U I F. Now if you're really curious as to an algorithm that would flip that, you can do F2, U2, RI, F2, R, U2, F, UI, F. Now that one's a little hard to see what's going on and how you do it and, and how it works. So another one is is where to go. Another one is R U I R I U F I U two F U F I U two F. That one's a little more e that's a little easier to see what you're doing and how it works. So I'll show you how each of these work. 
when doing this, this is this method is a beginner's method of the Friedrich system. Jessica Friedrich came up with the idea that all pieces, all corners, or the, excuse me, the first two layers after you get the cross could be done in four algorithms for each slot. Here's an example. There. There's the corner and the first two layers at once. So this is a not a dumbed down version, but an easier version of the Friedrich method. So this one moves here. What you're doing is you're moving this one to the back so that when you move this one up here and out of the way, it's already lined up. So then when you do R U R I, it places it back. UI, F I U I F U R U R I. Now the last three moves are just placing the cor connecting the corner and the edge, connecting them there, putting them there. And that's first two layers. Those are the three algorithms you need to know. Now the two that I gave you for the edge switcher, whichever one you prefer, the F2, the, the one that starts with F2, or the one that starts with R. Either one whatever your preference. Now, to be able to solve the Rubik's Cube, you have to memorize those algorithms. So, memorize those, and you should be good with the first two layers. And the next step is OLL, which is solving the top. And that will be covered in the next video.